Well, people, would you want to take a three-year cruise, right? You travel the world on a cruise ship for three years. I mean, does that sound appealing to you? Would you want to do that shit? Well, a whole gang of people did, right? A whole gang of people signed up for um, Life at Sea, right? Life at Sea. It was being run by um, <clears throat> uh, Mireille. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you how you say it. Mirai Cruises. Um, hmm. Yeah, I believe that's how you pronounce the word. Anyway, right? The, this company sold a hundred and eleven cabins. Hundred and eleven cabins. Now it doesn't say out of how many. But 111, that's a lot, right? That's a lot. And because technically, if you're on there for three years, you could travel the world multiple times, you know? So I'm curious to know what the actual journey was going to be, you know? Because that's not mentioned. But, people, it ain't happening, right? It's not happening. The cruise is off. Now, this is where it gets mad squirrely, right? It was meant to depart on the 1st of November from Istanbul. Uh, now, then that got cancelled. That, that departure got cancelled and passengers were told Okay, we're not going to run on the 1st. We will run on the 11th of November from Amsterdam now, right? Which is very, very different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Turkey to Holland, right? Uh, huh? Okay, but boom. All right, 11th of November. Then that got postponed. Right, and they were told the 30th of November. Yeah, that got postponed. <laughs> right, the 30th of November got postponed. Oh dear, oh dear. And a third date was thrown out the 1st of December. But then it just all got cancelled. Right, which it which is nuts, right? So it was meant to be on a ship called, um, it's, a, it's a bit of a weird name, a Ada, I think, Ada, it's A-I-D-A, -A, right, Ada, Ada Aurora, that was meant to be the ship, they, you know, they were going to travel on which they were going to rename MV Lara, right? So that was a ship that they were meant to be taking. Now, the, <laughs> this, is, this is the nuts thing, right? So they didn't actually own this ship, right? This ship was owned by Ada Cruises, but they had decommissioned it and, um, you know, this Mira Cruises were going to buy it, right? So they were going to buy it. And the plan was to buy it in September. Now, I, you know, I know nothing about ships. But buying the ship in September, right, taking it to a dry dock and then rehauling it, it seems like you'd want more time, you know, because it doesn't say when in when in September. I think like the end of September. So you've essentially got October. You've got 
31 days to fix this shit. 31 days to fix a fucking shit, right? So that's running a multiple tips multiple tests because if this ship is retiring it's because they've had it for a long time right the ship ada cruises is owned by carnival call right so they run cruises all around the world you know throughout the year so these ships are going and going and going so if you're retiring a ship it's because we've had a lot of wear out of it so you're gonna have to check every single rivet you know, all the appliances, the showers, the, you know, the, the, the ovens, the lights, the, you'd have to check all of that. And then there's renovations. Because if people are going to be on this thing for three years, I'm sure there were new additions that had to be done. So you have to do all of this, test it multiple times. And you're telling me a month, 31 days is enough time to do that? I mean, it, it sounds like it was never going to happen, right? It was never going to happen. Because you have to factor in, like, what if, you know, supplies get held up? Or there's a shortage on something. What if... The, the employees get ill, right? There's an injury. There's so many things. The weather might go crazy. There's so many factors that you have to kind of throw into that mix. So 31 days, it is, it's crazy. But then if something else happens, man. But yeah, so they were meant to do all of this. But here's the here's the thing, right? So it was meant to be the 17th. Yeah, I mean the 11th. Then it got pushed to the 17th. But on the 16th of November, right, word came that another company had bought the boat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they bought the boat. So... That's only then, like, well, the day after that, the mirror put out a statement, kind of, kind of. Now, you'd think, right, someone else is buying the boat. You know that. It's not like it just happened. They must have known it wasn't working, right? It, it wasn't working. But it's not until the 17th, the second date they were meant to go, the word came. You know, no, sorry, that, no. So the 11th was the second date, the 30th. So, yes, it, it, it was, you know, just after that. But after the 11th, you'd know. I mean, they must have known early that it was all looking fuckeries, right? But when I say they put out a statement, kind of, well, here's the rub, right? The statement got put out from Kendra Holmes, but she no longer works for the company, right? She'd resigned days before. She was the former CEO of Life at Sea, you know? Which is very odd, because you're like, wait, why is an ex-employee putting out the statement, right? How the fuck is that happening? So she releases this 15-minute video to passengers, right, saying that the cruise wasn't going ahead. Then the following day, right... <laughs> Vedet Agulo, who is the owner of Mira Cruises, he puts out a statement, right? So now he puts out, and he's like, a part of it, he says, he's extremely sorry for the inconvenience. I mean, it's kind of more than an inconvenience, right? It's kind of more than an inconvenience. But here's the insane thing. He, uh, he's, well, there's two crazy things, right? Firstly, he says, 
Mira Cruises, we're not a big company. So we can't afford to pay 40 to 50 million for a cruise ship. <laughs> so it's just like, wait, why did you even then like put out this idea? Right? Well, not even an idea. This this offer, right? This proposal, this itinerary. Why did you put this out as if it's a thing? And he's like, well, our stakeholders said, you know, that they would give us the money. And they said we could go ahead with buying the boat. And then they pulled out. Which is so weird and crazy. So weird and crazy. But he's like, but we've got another idea. And we're hoping to have your cruise going from the 1st of December. That's our new day, right? That's what that's what homie says. But then the next day, <laughs> he's so insane. Like the next day, another employee puts out a statement going, "Yeah, that's not happening, right? That's not happening." <laughs> we're not gonna, we won't be running on the 1st of December, right, so, yeah, you're gonna have to get a, uh, we'll, we'll give you your money back, <laughs> which is just like, okay, to, for, for this dude, Ugri, to go, oh, we're going on the 1st, and then literally the next day, someone go, yeah, that's not happening, the first was never going to happen. Like that was never. It it really seems that the the CEO of Mira didn't just didn't want to be the one to to give bad news, right? It seems that he wants. He, you know those motherfuckers that always want to be seen as the good guy, right? So they're like, oh, I can't. I don't want to be the one to say this thing. Please, can you do it? Right, that's what it seems, you know, which which is crazy. It's crazy. But the other, the other thing of it all, right? Which I hadn't even thought about. But you have these people that had signed up for this cruise, you know, three years. So even getting their money back. A lot of these people are screwed because they've rented out their houses. They've rented out their houses, which then you think, oh, actually, that makes sense, right? If you're not going to use it for three years, rent the house, then you've got a monthly stipend coming in, right? So you're on this cruise, you're not working, but you've got money coming in every month. Right? So you're like, oh, that's golden. You know what I mean? I'm making money while on holiday. But now what do you do? Because these people rented a house. You like to go, oh, we, we want it back. You'd be like, mm, we signed a contract, motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, you've got that. Other people supposedly sold their house and possessions. Right? That seems a bit weird to me. Because it's just like, so what were you going to do at the end of three years? <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you'd have nothing to come back to. Like that, like to sell your shit does seem kind of crazy. Unless, you know, at the end of it, you have this certain place to move to. You know what I mean? But it seems kind of crazy to sell. Renting makes full sense. You know what I mean? Or if you were renting somewhere give up the lease, yeah, then you're stuck, but I'm kind of like, if you're renting, you're not going to afford to go on this three-year cruise, you know what I mean, because it's like hundreds of thousands of pounds to do this thing, but supposedly the cost of it was kind of equivalent to renting somewhere for a year, you know, in three years, that's why supposedly these people wanted to do it. Like, they're like, oh, it's an adventure. 
you know what I mean? Like, oh, he's doing something extraordinary. I'm like, um, you're living on a ship. It's not really extraordinary. <laughs> I don't like it, just seems terrible. Seems like a fucking terrible idea to me. Being stuck with these people on a boat for all of this time. No, like it's bad enough when a bad neighbor moves in, right? This bad neighbor moves in and they might be renting. So you think, oh, it, like hopefully the landlord will kick them out, right? But you still, they're still there for this period of time. Now imagine you've got over a hundred of them on a boat and you're like, I can't escape. You know what I mean? Like, I can't escape. Oh, it, it sounds horrendous. It's why I've never done a cruise, you know what I mean? Because I'm just like, you're stuck. You know, where, you know, where you are, you can go, okay, today I'm going to go to the cinema. All right, I'm going to go do this thing. Ah, oh, let me go do that. You can do fun things. You can get away. you be like, I'll take a trip. I'll go in. If you're on a cruise, you can't. Right, you can't do any of this stuff. You know, it, it it's very uh, it, yeah. It just never interests me. You know, <laughs> but yeah, it it's just man. It just it doesn't sound like any of this was ever going to happen. You know, that any of this would happen, you know, it, it just seems weird. It just seems weird. There's supposedly this other, this Kendra Holmes, right? Now she went and worked for another company and is just like, hey, guys, why don't you come across to this spot and we'll get you going, right? Which... I'm just like, I ain't trusting no one. <laughs> I ain't trusting. But what really seems weird, it's like the whole Fire Island thing where people were looking at pictures, sketches of accommodation rather than actual pictures, photographs, right? There's no actual tours of actually built buildings. If I am going on a free, I want to see this boat, right, I want to know all the facilities, I want to know all this, I want to know every little in and out of this thing, if I'm going to be on that, right, I want pictures of the cabins, I want the whole shebang, and I can't imagine there was any of that, because they didn't have a boat, right, they didn't have a fucking boat, which is just like, how are you advertising before you even have that? I mean, it's insane. Like, I kind of feel bad for the people, but also I feel the people are fucking stupid, right? I feel you went into this with your eyes open and you're morons. You're more, how are you paying for something that you haven't even seen? It's insane, people. Like, oh, man. Like, what the fuck would you do, right? What would you do in this situation? 